Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BNE. We're handicappers, so it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. WNBA uh, Finals Game 4. Uh, Liberty leads 2-1. to one. I'm right this time. I said that last time. I guess I was able to foresee the future. Lines opened up at minus 3. Liberty is the favorite still. Excuse me. Uh, total 116.5 and uh, minus 164 plus 134. Uh, basically stayed the same. Minus 2.5, 159.5, 150. Uh, real close game. Uh, Minnesota led most of it. It was kind of reverse of what happened in game one. Uh, Liberty pulled it off at the end. You know, um, oh, if you watch the game, tell me if I'm wrong. The beginning of the game annoyed me. There was a lot of fouls, I think, that should have been called against Minnesota. I feel like the refs sometimes, especially in series, if they go one-sided a little bit the game before, they, like, make up for it the next game. That's how I felt. Um, Minnesota got off to a good lead. Uh, I heard this a while ago, too, that when a team's behind by a lot, you just want to get it down to, like, 10 by halftime. And that's basically what Liberty did. And then they chipped away in the middle of the fourth quarter towards the end. It flip-flopped. And then... Uh, little back and forth, and then the rest is history. Logo three. Uh, points leaders, Stewart, 30 points. Great game. Collier, 22. Stewie, 11 rebounds. Collier, nine rebounds with the leaders. An assist. Sabrina got over that five and a half, finally. Um, and Williams had eight. You know, Williams hooked her points, but let me tell you, she's an all-around good player, too. Uh, lots of rebounds, lots of assists. Unfortunately, I feel like she should have attacked more. Uh, game stats, field goals, just about the same. Minnesota did put up a few more, and uh, Liberty's percentage was a little better. Three points, just about the same. Free throws, Liberty was perfect, Minnesota missed two. Uh, rebounds, just about the same, 33-32. Assists, 18-20. Very close game. Turnovers, Liberty did have a lot. It was 18. Minnesota had 12. Uh, fast break points. Uh, Minnesota actually led in that. It's because all them turnovers. Points in the paint that even. Good game. Good game. Uh, I think Liberty can close it out. I don't think they're going to want to try to do it at home. Um, you know, you can't play around. Lynx is no team to play with. You know, they've got the series win during the regular season. It's the only team to really beat to have a series win against Liberty. Uh, you can't play with your food. Definitely got to uh, go for the kill. But uh, I got some player props. Let's... Nothing crazy. Um, went back to Phoebish. This time I did her points and rebounds. Um, where did I play that? Looks like it changed. 13 and a half. Just went to 14 and a half. You know, I, I dropped these in the community last night. Hopefully, you guys got a look at them. Uh, let me see what it is. I mean, she's been scoring besides this game where she just had a bad game. She's been going over this basically in just points. 
points and rebound is a little better because she has the opportunity. She's been getting around four. Uh, she's got the opportunity to get more, though. I expected to get at least four. That's why points and rebounds was at 13 and a half. It was a good bet. She's got a points line at nine and a half. Add uh, four to it. Brings you to 14. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm comfortable with just a points line at nine and a half. But I did play points and rebounds at 13 and a half. At threes, they juiced them up a little bit. If you're spending uh, more money per play, I, I don't mind a one and a half threes at 166. It's just my unit size is a lot smaller. Uh, week six of the NFL, I raised it up to 35 a play. Before that, I've been doing 25 a play. So, uh, you know, at minus 166, it's only making a couple dollars. It's not worth it, but I believe she will go over one and a half threes. Uh, she got a good chance of making her rebounds too, but we played it last time and she hit four, went under it. Um, it's got a good chance to go over it, but I like a points and rebounds, 13 and a half. Uh, 14 and a half, not a bad, not a bad gig. Uh, also, her points at nine and a half, not a bad gig, but hopefully you checked it out last night. Uh, I've been trying fucking two hours trying to get this video out. My computer just keeps messing up. I do apologize, but let's get it, Phoebus. Points, 12 and a half. Uh, we hooked this last time. It's uh, do or die. She's got to be a little more aggressive. Uh, plenty of minutes, field goals, everything's good. I mean, she shot bad last time. That's the problem, too. She succeeded 11 and a half. Six of the last seven. I don't know why it says 11 and a half. You get it at 11 and a half? Oh, you get it at 11 and a half minus 150. Once again, if you're spending more money, good play. Uh, truthfully, I don't mind her rebounds. Four and a half, she's been clearing it. She's just getting over it, but she's been clearing it. You know, head to head, 73%. Uh, a couple of these, so 2023. Starts right here. Or... Uh, her assists have been going over as well. Got that five and a half, but she's been going over that too. Maybe do her, her rebounds and assists. Uh, I'm trying to think of extra play, but don't do the extra play. Just do her points line. Um, just pay attention and see if that Phoebus line goes back down. If you didn't get a chance to bet it last night when I dropped it. Uh, but yeah, Corny Williams is going to have a good game. Good game. I got to. Let's get it. All right, last up. I went with McBride. Three pointers over two and a half. Um. Odds changed, numbers stayed the same. I got it for like plus 105 or two or something on FanDuel. So it shows we're heading in the right direction. It's at 128, 130 minus. Uh, it's been going over this the last couple games. Playing at home, she, you know, she's a ball with two, veteran. Uh, you know, she definitely could hit that shot. She could hit it under pressure. She could hit it with a hand in her face. Uh, you know, especially when she's a rhythm, she's doing that little crossover dribble and, and hits that thing. Uh, I expected to go over it back against the wall. Got to uh, her point sign always is a little rough, if you ask me, because sometimes she's hit or miss. But let's do a die and important game. I think she would go over her points anyway. But uh, I play her threes. She's shooting mostly threes anyway. Uh, go 
those field goals. Uh, if you're into unders, you can do rebounds on the assists or rebounds and assists on the I just, you know, I have a hard time playing on this. I don't like betting on people to do bad, but uh, as well as, especially in, in uh, closeout games, because you don't know, uh, you know what I mean? She could have a game of a lifetime. She's going to, should put it all out there. Uh, points line, she's been going over. Um, there was a few other plays that I liked. Uh, we jumped on Laney Hamilton last game and stuff, like I said, but she didn't. What I noticed, too, is she she took a couple shots. She was off, and then uh, she just she didn't really shoot that much. She took them when she could, but that was it. She only shot like three times, which, you know, that's a good player, but her defense is locked in. She's playing over 30 minutes again. Uh, her rebounds and assists at five and a half is a great number. They bumped it up, though. I was going to drop this last night, and I just decided not to because I said earlier, I raised my unit size up to 35. Uh, some people, that may not be a lot, but to me, I bet a lot of plays. and uh, So now I'm, I'm betting a little less. Um, now that I started tracking my bets again, I, I was realizing that I'm, I am betting a lot. And... Uh, I do get a lot right, but think about how hard it is for the amount of bets that you've been watching. You know how many bets I do, and even when I, you know, especially football days, like it's crazy. And uh, so I'm just trying to knock it down a little bit. Um, points and rebounds are, are good for uh, points and rebounds. Rebounds and assists, if you can get it. Uh, I don't know. That five and a half number was great. Rebounds and assists. Other than that, I wouldn't take it. Another play I liked was this Stewie threes over one and a half. It's plus money. She's hit this four out of the last five. Uh, there might be some change today. I mean, she's a beast anyway, but they might throw everything at her. But the problem is, if you do that, Sabrina's going to start taking off because she hasn't even been, like, taking off. She's just been filling in the gaps and doing what she has to. And uh, I don't even know if they can stop Stewie, to be honest. So that's another play you can look at on the half threes. Another one, a good one, was it's going to catch today is uh, Kali is at 19 and a half. She's going to go over that. They did bring it down a little bit, 142 on FanDuel, 155 on DraftKings. Uh, Closeout game, I wouldn't be surprised if she drops 30. Uh, four of the last five, she's got this. I mean, head-to-head -head saying 33%. It's been hit or miss. But uh, it's a closeout game. I expect her to get it. What she got in the last closeout game? Dropped 27 in that Connecticut game. Connecticut got a great D, too, and everything. So it's definitely a good play, too. She played the whole game, 40 minutes. So uh, definitely a good play, 19 and a half, minus 142. I would play that. Uh, if you could like the video, new viewers, hit that subscribe button, and let's turn on the notifications so you get all my plays, my live bets, anything I do. If you could leave a comment, likes and comments help get the videos out there as well as uh, get some interaction with me and you guys. Uh, I like that. Makes me feel like, uh, you know, worth doing this shit. I don't get paid for it. I'm doing it a couple months, trying to get the subs up there. Uh, I started bet tracking at the beginning of the month and uh, it may not look like that much. But taking into consideration, I was bet I'm betting twenty five dollars a play up until week six uh, NFL. I just moved up to thirty five a play. But uh, so think about that. That's uh, you know how many unit sizes. But uh, yeah, bet track. Uh, you know you, you guys really should jump on, especially if you're doing this every day. Uh, Action is like twenty dollars. It's a cheaper version, but uh, 
you can use it for a couple other things and then you got the bed tracker Oops. this is last the last week i started off minus 105 15th i was up 80 16th 171 i was up and then yesterday uh 274 so for the week, 20 and 16, 55%. Yeah. Uh, I said in the video yesterday, if you guys remember, football video. Oh, Juan Johnson, I had a parlay, a bunch of them, and when he didn't hit it, killed me. But I, I mentioned this guy, Estime, said to drop his numbers. We're going to jump on it, put him in, he cashed. Uh, Andre Miller, I jumped on him too. So you gotta subscribe, turn on notifications. I hit a parlay for the for the WNBA the other day. I made a couple of them. Uh, nothing crazy. I only bet a couple of dollars, but I do a couple of them. I basically handicap the game, and uh, bet two, three, four, five dollars. I make a couple of them. This one hit for one hundred forty. It's not units. That's actual dollars. Thirty five dollars. One hundred forty dollars. But I made $140 off, you know, $7 bet, I think it was. But, um, yeah, so I do got some uh, same game parlays. Let's get into that. Game, I do this with football, too. I do what I think is going to happen. A bunch of players, and uh, I just bet a little bit, nothing crazy. So this one is the easiest way for me to show you. I did Atlanta Smith, two assists. Hamilton, two assists. Azanuk, four. Williams, six. Four rebounds. Uh, Azanuk, two threes. McBride, two threes. Carlton, two threes. Phoebus, two threes. Jones, 10 points. McBride, 10 points. Williams, 10 points. Stewie, 20. Collier, 20. $3 pays, 204. I'm just run through them. I made a couple of them. This one I did 20 points. You can make your own. This is exactly what I do. You know? Mix and match, though, because sometimes one player will kill the whole thing. All your parlays, if you do them all the same. I did uh, Stewie 20 points, Williams 15, McBride 15, McBride 2 threes, Carlton 2 threes, Stewie 1 3, Phoebus 1 3, Collier 20 points, Azinuk 4 rebounds. Six dollars seventy cents because it was left over. Uh, page almost four hundred. Then I did uh, Smith two assists, Collier two assists, Dewey two assists, Azanuk four, Williams four, Phoebus four rebounds, Phoebus one three, Carlton one three, Sabrina two threes, McBride two threes, Williams ten points. McBride, 10 points, and then 20 and 20, Collier and Stewie. That one's going to hit. Two threes, Stewie, uh, three fives and Nuke, three for McBride, four assists, Sabrina, four rebounds, Phoebish, four rebounds, Smith. Smith got hurt last game. I've been a little iffy on her. Um... Williams, four rebounds. Jones, 10 points. Collier, 15 points. McBride, 10 points. Williams, 10 points. $4. Pays out $199. Uh, remember, parlays are like lotto tickets, though. You know what I mean? It could be the difference between making money or don't. That's why I, all together, I only bet like $20. Uh, Jones, 10 points. McBride, 10 points. Williams, 10 points. Collier, 20 Stewie one three, Sabrina two threes, McBride two threes, Carlton two threes, Phoebus two threes. Now these are all they they've been hitting all these. Phoebus four rebounds, Sabrina four rebounds, Williams four assists, Sabrina four assists. Seven day seven dollars pays five twenty. Like I said, these uh been getting all these plays, uh these stats. Uh, these are the plays I just I bet. Not I'm not a YouTuber. I mean I started being a YouTuber, but as you see, I literally uh I bet. Uh, what I wanted to show you. 
That was it. I'll show you these ones from the other day. Look at this. This is a parlay I made for the football game last night. Juan Johnson, that was one of my regular plays. 25 plus. He really hit it. Then it was a penalty. Then he also dropped a couple. But look at that. I added Cedric Wilson. Kamara for reception. Mora won. Franklin. $7 would have paid. It was like 400 Missed it by a couple yards. But he really caught it and had it. But there was a penalty right at the end. That was the only player I missed yesterday was Dan Johnson. Hit that Kamara under. I made a couple other ones they didn't hit. Uh, on street of basketball. A couple of them I just missed by one. Like, look at this. You know what I mean? But that's what happens. Oh, yeah, sorry. This is basketball the other day. Come on. Uh, this one, Carlton 4 threes. This was like an upper one. I make like. But just missed this, right? Couple, nothing crazy. They're close, right? I missed it a little bit. This one, wait, hold on. There's another one I missed by like. This one, I missed Hamilton, two threes. Smith, two threes. Just missed it, hit everything else. Uh, same thing here. Hit all the other ones, missed them by them. That's what I'm saying. Don't try to double things up because end up ruining your uh that one missed by a little bit look at that one miss four assists and four assists that was the only thing i missed them by look at all of them but that's what happens with probably is you miss them by one this is one of them i missed sabrina killed me oh this is the one look Everyone, all I needed was I was in to score 15 points. She had 14. That was another $400 parlay for seven bucks. But sometimes you'd be missing them by one. Oh, look, I can't, this is the one I catched. Uh, $2 paid out $140 plus $7,000. Sabrina, uh, Stewie 20, Collier 20, Jones 10. Williams 10, McBride 10, Stewie 1 3, Isanoop 2, McBride 2, Carlton 2, Phoebish 4 rebounds, Williams 4 rebounds, Collier 2 assists, 2 assists, and 2 assists. Look at that. $2 paid out 142. You know what I mean? Missed a couple, but got a couple. Look, we, we betting. I made my hockey. Missed that one by fucking, like, McDavid didn't it? Missed him by, like, one shot. Uh, Bouchard, anytime goal, cash money, plus 440. Uh, that one we missed. I did hit a parlay in the football game to the Bills game. Oh, here it is. It would have killed it too. Uh, where is it? Kincaid first first quarter over four and a half yards. Wilson first quarter over nine and a half yards. Brees Hall over thirteen and a half yards first quarter rushing, and then I had Cook over twelve and a half, but that got voided because he didn't play. Fifteen dollars paid out one forty four. It would have been like three hundred if Cook played. But uh, yeah, so let's get it. East money to name. Getting paper to game. Sportsbook robbery. Let's go.